Okay, today I will, I will discuss about the crimes against humanity. My name is Mama Kamasaman, Benjali, and for the for the ICL class, I will discuss about crimes against humanity. Okay, first of all, I will start with definition. Okay. Uh, genocide and war crimes have been codified in treaties, whereas Crimes Against Humanity, or CAH, have involved under customary international law. It is not clear when crimes against humanity has been defined, whether as early as, early as late 18th and early 19th century, particularly, particularly in the context of slavery, slavery and the slave trade, slave trade and to describe atrocities associated with European colonialism in Africa and elsewhere, such as, for example, the atrocities committed by the, by the Leopold II, the second of Belgium in the Congo Free State. Other scholars point to the declaration issue in 1915 by the Allied governments, France, Great Britain and Russia, condemning, condemning the mass killing of Armenians in the Ottoman Empire to be the origin of the use of the terms as the label for a category of international crimes. Crimes against humanity are as committed as part of a widespread of systematic attack directed against any civilian population, such as murder, deportation, torture, and rape. The SEC prosecutes the perpetrator, perpetrators even if the crimes were not committed in times of war. Okay, interesting things about the crimes against humanity. Okay, unlike war crimes, crimes against humanity can be committed during peace and war. Apart from that, that another inter interesting thing is the term crimes against humanity is potentially ambiguous because of the ambiguity of the word humanity, humanity, which can mean humankind all human being collect all human beings collectively or the value of humanness crimes against humanity do not need to be part of an official policy and they only need to be tolerated by by the authorities uh, the first the first persecution of crimes against humanity took place during the the Nuremberg the, the trial Okay, for the Rome Statute. Uh, the crimes of against humanity is, the, is in the Article 7 of the Rome Statute. For the purpose of the statute, Article 7 1, for the purpose of the statute, crimes against humanity, murder, meanings, means any of the following acts when committed as part of widespread or systematic effort directed against any civilian population with knowledge of the attack. Murder, extermination, enslavement, deportation or forcible transfer of population, imprisonment, or any or other severe deprivation of physical liberty in violation of fundamental rules of international law, torture, rape, sexual slavery, and forced prostitution, forced pregnancy, and forced steriliz sterilization. Mm -hmm or any other form of sexual violence or comparable gravity. Persecution against any persecution against any identifiable group or collective collectivity on political, racial, 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 national, ethnic, cultural, religious, gender as defined in paragraph three or other grounds that are universally recognized as impermissible under international law. In connection with any act referred to in this paragraph or any crimes within the within the jurisdiction of the court, enforced disappearances of person, the crimes of the crime of appetite, other inhuman inhuman acts of a similar character intentionally causing great suffering or serious injury to body or to mental or physical health. Uh, okay, now we look to the Article 2, Article 2, Article 7, Paragraph 2, of, for the purpose of Paragraph 1. 
Attack directed against any any civilian population means a course of conduct involving the multiple commission of acts refer to in paragraph one against any civilian population pursuant to and <coughs> pursuant to or in furtherance furtherance of a state or organizational policy to commit such attack. The elements of the crime is an, is under Article Seven One. A physical elements which includes the commission of any of the following acts murder, extermination, enslavement, deportation or possible transfer of population, imprisonment, torture, grave forms of sexual violence, persecution, enforced disappearances of persons, the crime of appetite, and other and the last one is other inhuman acts. Okay, for the example case, I I have three example case. The first one is prosecutor against German Katagang Katanga. The second one is the prosecutor against Lauren Gabambo and Charles Charles Blair Gore. The third one, the last one is the prosecutor against John John Pierre Bemba. The German Katakan Katanga case. The summary about the case is a violent act, the, the, a violent armed conflict between Lendu, Ginti, and Hama ethnic groups consumed Eastern the RCS in Turi province from 1999 to 2003 on 24 February 2003, consisting of Niti and Lendu rebel, rebels respectively, launched a repressor operation against Hema civilians in Bogoro. A strategic point on the road between district capital Bonia and the Ugandan border. On 7 March 2014, a majority of trial chamber the second found second found Katanga guilty as an accessory to one count of crimes against humanity, murder, and four crowns of war crimes attack against civilian population, murder, destruction of enemy, property and pillaging. The verdict follow Matthew Nunguljolo Chui, acquittal for his alleged involvement as FNI commander during the Bogor attack. This is one of the example case of the crimes against humanity. We, we will proceed to the second example. Okay. The second example of the crimes against humanity can be seen in the Jem Pera Pemba case. Jem Pera Bemba was found guilty on 21st March 2016 of two counts of crimes against humanity, murder and rape, and three counts of war crimes, murder, rape and pillaging, committed in Central African, African Republic CAR between 2002 and 2003 by a contingent of MLC troops. Bemba was a person effectively acting as a military commander with effective authority and control over the forces that committed the crimes. He became the most senior leader to be successfully committed by the ICC. His commission was the first in which an individual was found responsible, responsible for the commission of crime pursuant to command at responsibility under Article 28 of the Rome Statute. On 21st June 2016, he was sentenced, sentenced to 18 years in prison. Both the judgment and the sentence are currently subject to appeals. The, the last case that I will show is the Lauren Kebabo and the Charles, Charles Blair Goulet case. The prosecutor broke against Lauren Gababu and Charles Le Blay 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 Goudet charges of crimes against humanity, including murder, rape, any other inhuman acts, or in the alternative, attempting murder and persecution, allegedly committed in the context of post electoral violence in Cote d'Ivoire between 1916 December 2010 and 12 April 2011. On 15 January 2019, 
Tire Chamber first by a majority judge Herrera Galbusia, dissenting, acquitted by acquitted Mr. Lauren Gababu and Mr. Charles Blair Gude from all charges of crimes against humanity allegedly committed in Cote in 2010 and 2011. On 16 July 2019, Trial Chamber 1 filed the written full reason for the acquittal of Mr. Lauren Gababu and Ms. Charles Blair Gude. From these three example cases, we can we can found that the crimes against humanity will be will be sentences or will be judged or will be get sentenced by the by the by the judge of the SEC as the crimes against humanity also can be involved too many actions, cruel actions such as murder, rape, persecution, attempted murder, and torture. Okay, now we will proceed to the to the conclusion. Uh, crimes against humanity is a crime that have been occurred around the world. And it is ICC job to prevent that to be happen again in the future, and to punish the individual that committed the crimes. ICC need a cooperation from all the countries as it will be easy to prosecute the perpetrator. For example, in the case of Sudanese President Omar Al Bashir, who committed crimes against humanity, was shielded by the Jordan by the Jordan state by the state of Jordan making the prosecution become hard to be possible. If we look the, the if we look at the the definition that level is for the war crimes and the crimes against humanity can be see as similar as involve killing, torture, and other things, but that's something that keeps them apart. And I will say it again about the crimes against humanity is from before, from can be known as the first crime, the, the first crimes that have been stated in the ISIS, in the Rodrum statute. Crimes against humanity is more widespread or systematic attack directed against any civil population, such as murder, deportation, torture, and rape. Um, until today, there are so many cases about the crimes against humanity, and and the ICC only able to prosecute the individual or the commander that committed crimes against humanity is ICC, court, ICC only able to prosecute the, the individual or commanders from the state that are the, the, they are the members of the Rome Statute. To this day, there are so many, there are so many states that are not, they are not the member of the Rome Statute including United States of America, United States of America, Israel, Russia, China, um, making the making the, the crimes against humanity cannot be stopped by the ICC and the ICC have no power to, to prosecute the crime. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you.